Hello guys, welcome back to Meta Lab Training Project. This time, let's meet a brand new add-on, the sensor add-on. Different from previous add-ons, the sensor add-on contains not only some interesting coding blocks, but also a new multifunction controller. First, let's briefly introduce this add-on. The controller has three modes: the easy to understand control mode, the interesting coding mode, and the challenging sensor mode. In the first two modes, we can directly use controller to program without the control tower. In the sensor mode, we need to correctly connect three important components and use these new coding blocks so that we can program with them. Let's take a look at how to connect and how to program according to the different modes of controller. First of all, let's talk about the easy to understand control mode. If you carefully observe the icon, it might wake your childhood memories. In the control mode, we can directly use the controller to control Matata Bolt. To connect Matata Bolt with controller, we only need to turn the controller and Matata Bolt on, and then quickly click the controller's power button three times to successfully connect them. There are seven buttons on the controller, and each of them has an icon. We can easily guess what they mean by combining the icons with the understanding of past coding blocks which we've used. It is worth mentioning that when the music button is pressed, Matabo will randomly play one of the inbuilt songs. And when we press and hold the music button, we can create our own music by scanning seven different colors with the controller. In addition, when we press and hold the play button for two seconds, we can control Matata Bow through Euro function. This interesting function is good for developing children's fine motor skill and the sense of orientation. When we press and hold the clear button in the control mode, we can begin the racing mode. Keep pressing the button and shaking the controller. It will enhance the speed of the Matata Bow's movements. The controller mode is simple and easy to understand. While reducing the coding threshold of Matata Bow, we add lots of attractive functions, which make children have a strong interest in programming. Next, let's move on the interesting coding mode. In the coding mode, the connection method between the controller and the Matata Bow is the same as the control mode. Instead of placing the coding blocks on the control board in the past, this time, we can directly press the buttons on the controller to program. There are specific lights on the controller, and their colors are corresponded with the commands we write. For example, green light means move forward. Red light means move backward. Yellow light means turn left. Blue light means turn right. Purple light means music. These lighting effects can easily help us remember and debug our commands. If you are careful enough, you will find that there is a button with a cross icon. If we press it, there is no light added. Instead, one light will be extinguished. That's because the cross represents deletion. If we press it, an instruction will be deleted. If we press and hold the clear button, all commands will be deleted. Keep in mind that as there are only 12 LED lights on the controller, the lights will be replaced when you input over 12 commands. Don't worry, the controller will still remember the previous commands. As we mentioned before, our sensor add-on has three modes. In today's video, we talk about the first two modes. In the next video, we will talk about the third one, sensor mode. See you next time. Bye bye.